Ladies and gentlemen, tankers of British Universe, welcome back to the channel. I think I have a confession to make. I was wrong. I was wrong about the Smasher. I played a few more games today. And I said in the video I released uh, earlier today that this tank was uh, really strong. It, it could maybe OP, but that Abizi was wrong about it and that when he claimed after having played it on the open test server that this tank was uh, OP as hell, borderline OP, or just, just completely overpowered. I, I, I stated actually in, in today's video earlier, well, I'm, I'm, I think you will struggle in tier 8. <laughs> and you, you can't struggle in tier 8. I had a few games today which were just, well, the team melted and then you have a problem with uh, with the uh, well not so much in terms of mobility and, and the armor profile being flat on the sides and and you uh, will get eaten up by an RU251 or a type 62 or an or a Carnarvon or whacked uh, in 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 the turret side by a Borsig but if you manage to keep the team alive and just sit in the back like uh, like a pussy basically and load the HE, then you can do stuff like this. Uh, I mean, your teammates get shot, you just go around the corner, 374, we've hit them hard. It is, it, it's a completely hilarious broken tank this one and I've played a fair few games in it now and when we see had it earlier he had I think nine games or so above 3k damage I haven't done above 3k damage because I knew about from time to time had a few games where the gun just trolled like a mother buzzer but look at the hello CDC have some 963 <laughs> up your, the back of your hat not up your ass I would have hurt even more but it's just if a tank like a CDC or an AMX 5100 or a bossy <laughs> or any light tank in tiers six, seven, and eight is un uncareful. They are not cautious. They just think, right, that's another tank where we can go in and clear them because that's a T49 and we can easily kill that one. Then you can roll in with a smasher and you are going to do what your name says. You are going to smash them because uh, you have a big gun and, and then you can do this. There we go. Bye bye AMX M445. I haven't done a lot yet and I've managed to do 2550 in terms of damage. And the mobility of the tank, like I said, it's not brilliant but the pick of speed is quite good and once you get it up to speed it, it, it's really fun. And then you do stuff like this, and then you get the bad gun impression, and you just roll, roll around. Oh, by CDC, on the move. No, not on the move. Wait, point, click, <laughs> on the front. <laughs> I wounded his driver, tracked him in place, and uh, you can see the uh, the arc tiger is just going on. I'm sitting here side scraping, waiting for a shot, he turns one into the crowd. <laughs> and this game is one. Oh, hilarious. I had another game on. Uh, on this map on Normandy where I did 3.4k damage, but where the team went basically into A cap, uh, decided to win A cap and then go towards the enemy uh, spawn and, and try to capture that, uh, or to capture it, just, just clear that spawn and, and yeah, then you have a bit of a problem because when the team spreads out, any tank with a long reload can be overcome by tanks that have a slightly lower reload. And this tank, you will struggle against the VK100 OMP, no problem whatsoever. I should have loaded e HE earlier, but with e AP and even with heat, you will struggle. But your HE is big enough to do this. <laughs> 388. It's hilarious. It's completely hilarious. hilarious. I, I was hoping he would just drive down onto the beach and then I would be able to uh, dunk myself on top of him. But, but no, he's going to shoot me up the ass. Oh, that hurts. Right, well then just do some a little more splashing, there we go, I'll leave 10 hit points on him and then the pushing finishes off. I think this tank has broken the meta in tier 7, and, and not in 8, but this tank will completely break the game in tiers 6 and 7. I played, well not brilliant, Just I, I just play basically I, I put myself in the middle of the team had my team revolve around me i was sitting behind the rock like a, like a pussy and i reloaded and i whacked the enemy with ag shells and you can see this is another tier 8 game and then the amx 3075 Let, let's go to d cap all everybody into d all to d yes musta zero zero 
And just just keep an eye on him. He's going to be he's going in balls deep, right into D cap, up front with the, the big guns and the heavies. And this it's not like the rats have only got one heavy; they've got four, and a tank destroyer to boot. So I would not go into D cap with my uh, well triple shot magazine non armored auto loading French light tank. But yeah, some some people like to live dangerously, live on the edge. That's what he's going to do. Smasher is not living on the edge, as you can see, but, but I'm, I'm going forward now. We've captured D already, and I want to be able to support my team because at the back my gun is just stupid, and I load AP, and then I got shot by the T29. I'm going to get shot again, um, but I've got HE loaded. Bye, Tiger 2. There we go. Boom. <laughs> got tough! It should say get tough. Come on, let's be fair. It's, it's, a, it's a Russian tank. Yes, it's hybrid nation, but it's a Russian tank. It should say get tough. And like I said, I think I was wrong. This tank is OP. Because I managed to do quite well in it. And if I can do really well in a tank, then uh, it is OP. And it's, it's, ju it's, all, it's just because of that big HE shell. It, it is a, it's a turreted SU-152. Uh, so somebody left a comment on today's video on the earlier one. Uh, which was actually made in, in a sort of a night shift. I oh, hey, uh, get it up some uh, some footage. Um, just moved going off to bed and then decided to make that one. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, um, is it this one? Uh, no. Yeah, it was. Oh, hello, Lerva. <laughs> Emily Bounce returned. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? On the commander's edge of a, of a tier 8 heavy tank. HE 1034. <laughs> it's just stupid. Uh, and, and the rest are doing their best. They are capturing uh, another base yet. And our team is now moving in on to the VK 4502A. Uh, and uh, the AMX is down. The T 34 2G FT is down. But we can splash kill or splash the uh, VK. Again. I was hoping for another penetration. Then I would have gotten another kill, a tier 8 kill. But hey. I'm fine with this. I'm okay with this. Let's go around. We've popped adrenaline. And by the time I get to the corner, there we go. I am reloaded. Let the IS-3 go first and take the shot. And the, the lever finishes. Uh, shoot him and then I can finish off. Enemy vehicle knocked out. Prashinti Pranastra. Got tough. Bye bye lever. Yeah. Back. Now oh, we're just going to shoot uh, this SU-101 I think. Yeah. Going to shoot him. Stop. Aim, point, click. <laughs> Got tough! <laughs> it's hilarious. Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of the universe. This tank is broken. It is OP. And I was wrong about it. It will get nerfed. So I think I would recommend to, well, buy it if you really want to have some fun. But it's wickedly expensive. I did not expect it to be at uh, the 30... What is it, 33 euros? Yeah, 33 euros. And then it just has nothing extra. It's got that avatar. So it's too expensive. It is OP. I was wrong about the tank. But one thing still stands. It's a big bowl of fun. That's today's video on the Smash Up. My name is Martin Dogger. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking.